There are some things in life that demand to be experienced, to be felt, to be lived, to be enjoyed and understood, but only in the moment. Like the thrill of the open road, the rumble and growl of a performance engine coming to life, the buttery rich texture of full grain leather on your skin, the smell of vineyards and bakeries on the wind as it kisses your cheek, every element contributing to a symphony in the making. Excitement and anticipation igniting your senses. And I'm ready to experience it all. But first, I could go for a gelato. Welcome to Italy, a country celebrated for its cultural treasures, unparalleled charm, and exceptional ability to satisfy the world with rich and robust customer experiences. Here we'll discover that the powerful winds of innovation have converged with local customs, values, and ways of living to create something unique. Together, we'll see firsthand how technology and tradition combine to form cloud cultures. Like most, I've always been enamored by Italian culture. From cuisine to fashion to art, this is a country that leans into a more emotional response. It understands complexity doesn't always translate to value. At times, it's the appreciation for life's simple pleasures and the way we experience them, perhaps slowly, in a lively piazza amongst friends. And here in Milan, I'm meeting a new friend, Italian GT Championship driver, Vicky Piria a native Italian who leverages the latest tech innovations to gain a competitive edge on the track, and who will be joining me as we make our way around the country to talk with the people and companies driving the cloud culture here in Italy. Good to see you again. How are you? Yeah, very good. Oh, finally. No, Hi. Italian oh. way. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> it's a beautiful day here in Italy. So yeah. are you enjoying your stay up I now? I am enjoying it very much. But first, let's start talking about you. Uh, mm. Tell me a little bit about what you do. I, I understand you're a race car driver, which I'm excited about. Tell <laughs> yeah. me more about that. Well, I've been doing that for a long time now, since I was eight years old. I started wow. with go-karting, really randomly, but uh, <laughs> it slowly escalated in something bigger and bigger. And now I race with the big cars. With racing, there's a lot of technology involved. Absolutely. Uh, in addition to just the physical. Crucial, yeah. you yeah. know, if you think that every time I step out of the car, I, I get my laptop with my engineer and we go over through all the data of the session. And that's the most important thing for us to improve ourselves in terms of driving skills, but also in terms of car and racing. So we get the opportunity to meet with a few yeah. customers here, uh, a, few, uh, a few amazing Italian companies. Uh, and so you're meeting with Lavazza. Tell me a little bit about what you're excited to, to talk with them about. I mean, obviously, Lavazza is uh, an Italian company, but spread all around the world, and coffee is so important for us. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, their strategy and how they're developing, also technology-wise. Who are you meeting? So I'm meeting with Xenia, which is uh, a fashion company. Uh, yeah, very, I know uh, them very, really well. Oh, yes. I'm very excited, and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll get to try on some clothes. That'll be very exciting to see how fashion and technology come together. It, it's yeah. something that I'm quite intrigued by. Uh, and then I'm also meeting with Crea, and so understanding how they're taking technology and driving their overall uh, agriculture uh, focus. Obviously, a country so focused on food and, uh, yeah. and how that sort of impacts that. Yeah, well, it's astonishing because at the end, we're all meeting people that give experience, yeah. you know, like the experience of food, coffee, fashion, you know, yeah. having something nice on. So it just shows like how Italian economy is yeah. focused on like living la bella vita, yeah. put it that way. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Very exciting. Should we get going? Let's get going. While Vicky hits the road to Turin, I'll start by taking a look behind the scenes, <laughs> and scenes, of one of Italy's most prestigious fashion houses to see how they weave hand-stitched heritage and cutting-edge technology together. Zegna, a name synonymous with luxury for over a century. The experience of trying on their clothing is hard to describe. And the origin story of the brand is equally impressive which is where my conversation with Eduardo Zegna begins. <laughs> so, uh, this might be a bit of a long-winded answer to... Please, I love uh, long-winded answers. My great-grandfather, uh, called uh, Ermenegildo, he decided to build a road um, that connect this entire mountain uh, at north of Turin. He, he built a hospital, he built an orphanage, uh, he built schools, and he didn't do it for fame, he didn't do it for money, he did it because he felt right. Because he believed that the 
um, success of his company and happiness of employees was directly correlated with their well-being. Um, and because uh, he believed that uh, giving back was the right way of, of doing things. How does that play into sort of the experience around luxury, around fashion, uh, into what, you, what you've done and what your family's done? We love to call ourselves the slowest company in the world. <laughs> because slowness comes from the appreciation, the nurture, the craft. It's about blending the art with the science. I, I often say that uh, Technology is a luxury if it makes your life simpler. It's kind of an interesting marriage, um, uh, and some of the work that you've done has been really um, uh, amazingly innovative. Do you ever get questions, or do you ever feel like, well, those two don't belong together? The human aspect will never be replaced uh, by the technology aspect. Um, is instead, on the contrary, it will make the human aspect even more personal, even more luxurious. Because to me, you see, at the end of the day, what is a luxury experience in a store? There is the knowledge and the service uh, with an Italian touch, with a unique sort of like human aspect that I think is indispensable, again, if you want to make a human connection, right? You, you mentioned this, bringing this unique Italian experience. Uh, what, does that, what does that mean to you uh, as you look at sort of your family and, uh, and the company that you built? We have this saying, it's called il dolce far niente the beauty of doing nothing, the sweetness of doing nothing. This idea of, of slowness is what we talked about, is yeah. this experience about Xenia X and the experience we'll be doing in store is very fast because yes. uh, it has in, it expedited you know, all the information and so forth, but it's also very slow because it increased the amount of time that the customer spends in our store. Right, tell me a little bit more about, about Xenia X and what your, what your vision is there. So listen, ultimately Zenyax is our, um, it's what we think luxury clienteling should be like. Within it, we have three parts. Um, there is a predictive AI part that we're, we're elaborating in partnership with Microsoft. The second piece is outreach. Today, this outreach part represents more than 45% of our business. The third layer is what I was just talking right now, is come to store. And when they come to store, uh, hundred billions of combinations um, of options across styles, colors, everything. You know, everything piece of our collection. You want. This is what we like to call a luxury experience. So the road to me just started, even if it started in 1910, just started. And I think the best, uh, uh, the best way for me as fourth generation to pay homage to my great grandfather is actually not to take a different road, but to continue the same road. So the road continues uh, with technology helping you along the way. It's been really wonderful to get the chance to meet you and talk with you. I've learned so much and I've worn amazing clothes. Thank you so much for your time. Amazing. Lovely to have you. Lovely to be here. There's an overwhelming confidence that comes with bespoke experiences. Knowing every stitch, every detail has been personalized to fit you. With all the data available to us today, we have so much potential to create experiences for customers that make them feel the same. Another Italian industry that's found a unique way to leverage data is the agricultural sector. As a company under the jurisdiction of the Department of Agriculture, CREA has to adhere to strict government compliance and regulations. But despite these stringent conditions, they're finding new ways to grow their research capabilities using the cloud. I'd love to understand a little bit more about what CREA does and the impact it has on some of the food here in Italy. Yeah, CREA, is, CREA a, is a research organization that works in the field of agricultural research and is structured with research centers that deal with animal husbandry, aquaculture, plant nutrition, soil fertility, mechanics, robotics, genomics, and bioinformatics. Of course, the main impact of agriculture is on food. We are strongly committed to obtaining healthy, quality food to bring to the table of Italians. So doing research for the government, tell me a little bit about how technology has helped you in that work. It is fundamental. The use of technology allows us to accelerate all research processes in agriculture. We have been doing a big migration project and now we have all the corporate parts all the research parts in the cloud environment with no problems on application management. And we have been able to put 
innovative services and research that we would not have been able to use with the public cloud. This whole migration has brought significant benefits, especially in security and management of virtual machines, which is particularly useful in very complex computing of very large files, like genome files in bioinformatics and genetics. In addition, we are currently trying to develop machine learning for the analysis of orthophotos in forestry, especially to understand the advancement of deforestation over the years in Italy. So, uh, working uh, closely with the government, tell me, tell me some of the considerations about using cloud and, and technology. Cloud technology regulation in Italy and Europe is a key issue. For European GDPR regulation, data must reside in Europe. So the choice of cloud technology has to meet these EU-regulated canons and impositions. Within Italian and European projects, we are proposing the use of data sharing with block storage for sharing data with all partners in these projects. This allows us to guarantee the data resides in Europe and is geographically redundant. So we have the security not only from the point of view of cybersecurity, but also data recovery in case of disasters. Well, it's great that you're able to get the, f the benefit of the cloud, the, the benefit of the flexibility, while still uh, ensuring that you're living up to regulations and the requirements of your government. Yeah. With the work that you're doing, uh, tell me how it feels to have such an impact on the culture of food here in Italy. It's so important. Like, what does the culture of food in Italy mean to you? The culture of food in Italy is historic. We have crops in Italy that are envied all over the world. We have a big part of oil, part of wine, so we are very attentive to the importance of food and the quality of food. The Mediterranean diet is a way of life for us. For an Italian, it's a way of being, not just simply eating. Well, I could say, from my perspective, having eaten here for the last few days, I thank you for your great work. <laughs> Korea may be using the cloud, but their solutions are down to earth. I love how they brought innovation from farm to fork and to the delight of taste buds across Italy. Meanwhile, Vicky has made it to turn with just enough time to grab an espresso. Here, coffee is more than just a beverage, a part of a daily routine. It's a moment, an opportunity to pause, take in your surroundings and connect with others. And no one understands this better than Italy's favorite coffee manufacturer, Lavazza. Grazie Fabio per avermi invitato nella vostra casa, in Lavazza Headquarters, e soprattutto grazie per il caffè. Benvenuta. Molto piacere. I know how much coffee is important to us, our culture and everything. How is it to work with a company that makes coffee in Italy? Uh, it's fantastic, you know. Um, you know, we, we, we are uh, really the coffee. We invented the blend uh, in Torino. Uh, Torino is the, the city where espresso was invented. The espresso machine was invented. The espresso machine married our blend. And so what uh, we just had in, the, in our cup of, of coffee is the result of something that comes from, uh, from Turin. It's something that you feel every day that you work uh, here in Lavazza. And obviously you are the IT director, yeah. so uh, something quite distant from beverage from like coffee, coffee yeah. yeah. So how do you implement technology in, uh, in a company like Lavazza? There is, a, let me say, something related to everything that is the technology that make the company run the business. No, that, that needs to be flexible, uh, that needs to be fast uh, in implementing, that needs to be something that uh, is uh, quite transparent to, to, to the business. And then there is something that is directly connected to the product at the end. So it, it goes to the end product, you know, to the customers. Yes, it touched the end customer. I mean, uh, I want to tell you a secret, let me say. Uh, when, when, when you have a, a, an espresso in a bar, 50% uh, of the taste of the result uh, is the coffee and 50% of the result is how the machine uh, works, if it works properly. 
Uh, for many of our machine uh, in, in our bar, we have a cloud technology behind that, that take the data uh, while the machine is working uh, to understand if uh, it works properly, if uh, the maintenance has been done, uh, if uh, uh, the barman is washing the machine every, every day, uh, and, and, and all the activities that make the machine work uh, in the proper way to have uh, the good taste of a good coffee. So you are Italian, so you know that for us espresso is something that we take uh, at the bar, but it's also uh, something that we wanted to have because uh, we meet, uh, we wanted to stay outside for half an hour, chatting and taking our espresso. Maybe having that little, that little minute of reset for yourself, have your little coffee and just relax. So you needed the technology, you need the experience, uh, you need the, the moment. And this kind of blend is exactly, I think, uh, which is the culture of the companies. Yeah, everything to give us that end experience, which is a little moment with our espresso, a dolce far niente moment, even if it's just one minute, you know, just the time to have another sip of coffee. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Fabio. Thank you. The way Lavazza is blending old tradition with modern technology is really a work of art. As I take a moment to look around, it's easy to see how so many different aspects of Italian culture shine through in their approach to innovation. It makes me eager to reconnect with Vicky and get her perspective on everything we've learned. Hey Hi there. there. Can I have a ride? Of course you can. But don't spill that gelato. Huh? Okay, I'll try not to. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go. go. Well, it's beautiful to be uh, out here on the countryside. Thank you for picking me up. Oh, thank you, <laughs> and I hope you're enjoying it. I am, absolutely. Uh, and, uh, you know, speaking of sort of the wonderful experience here, tell me a little bit about the experiences you've had. Well, yeah, it was very cool. I went to Lavazza in Torino, and obviously for me, growing up with coffee, I mean, I always had a Lavazza coffee in my cabinet I in the kitchen. Yeah. So it was very interesting also to just see how they use technology as a tool um, to elevate, you know, what they're giving to people, but at the same time, keep it natural, keep right. it the way it's supposed to be. You know, it's so important for us Italian coffee. Yeah, is. yeah and it was a very similar conversation with Eduardo Zegna about the focus on fashion, the focus mm -hmm. on Italian experience uh, while using technology to augment that, to, to enhance that. Um, and the same thing with, uh, with uh, Crea, uh, the ability to, to, you know, focus on agriculture, but be able to take it out to more people yeah. using technology. And the saying that um, Eduardo mentioned to me um, that I think is so perfect for this is um, uh, el dolce uh, far viente. El dolce far niente. Far niente. Far niente. I almost yeah. got it. The sweetness of doing <laughs> the nothing. The sweetness of doing nothing. Well, that is also something very important to Italian culture, mm. you know, the mm. way that you just want to enjoy the beauty around you, whether it's a plate of pasta or a view like <laughs> this or a beautiful car like this. Of course. Just like to seize the moment and enjoy yes, it. Yes, yes. I mean, I could do for a plate of pasta, but I'm enjoying, <laughs> I'm enjoying the car ride uh, uh, right now yeah. in a beautiful countryside. And so thank you so much. It's been really thank an honor you, to be Paul. here. Yeah. Let's go and get some pasta. Let's get some pasta. <laughs> <laughs> How fast can we get to some pasta? Oh, yeah, I like, I'm really <laughs> I love that Italy has its own way of doing things and that it stays true to how they innovate as well, reminding us to consider the beauty of life, the charm of simplicity, and how we can use technology to elevate everyday moments into powerful feelings. It's a cloud culture that understands true customer satisfaction is twofold. You have your product and the enjoyment of the experience you've built around it. There's amazing innovation happening all over the world. And in my time here in Europe, we've only begun to scratch the surface. I thought my curiosity would have been satisfied, but I'm hungry for more. To search out what's new, what's next, and find what other cloud cultures have formed. See you soon.